When you think of Harbor Freight, you guys think of cheap tools, just cheap quality products, and just overall just cheap. Harbor Freight does get a lot of shit because their stuff is cheap. I mean, let's be honest. But today, we're gonna test out how good their powder coating system is. I went out today and got their powder coating system. I'm pretty sure this is the only one you can get. It was like 70 bucks, which is really sketchy. If you wanna powder coat a wheel, People charge like 120 bucks for a wheel yeah, yeah. to powder coat. So like 70 bucks for a whole system is just crazy. Pretty sure that this comes with everything that you need to powder coat, except for an air compressor, which we already have from Harbor Freight, of course. I also got some powder coat powder or powder coat paint. They call it powder coat paint. It's powder though, right? Yeah, I don't know, kind of weird. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious now, is it like? No, it's actual powder. It's, yeah, it's powder, yeah. right? Come on. The yeah, it's, it's literally, it's literally powder. Do you guys see that? It's literally powder. I don't know why they call it paint, but I guess that's Harbor Freight. So we also got some powder coat paint slash powder from Harbor Freight, of course. I got matte black. We're just going to test that out today. If it comes out good, then I might end up just redoing my entire wheels. So I've been focusing a lot on this car. I rebuilt the wheels, but one thing I never did for like the past two years is change out these lug nuts. And you can see that I got a lot of purple overspray from when we painted the, the car. These lug nuts are just old and crusty and they got some rust on them and they just don't look good. So today we're gonna give them a little refresh. Along with doing that, I also have to add a little bit of camber because right now I'm just, I'm stretching fiberglass and fiberglass does not stretch. For those of you who know fiberglass, you guys know that fiberglass is not supposed to stretch. Is there a bug? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I'm stretching fiberglass right now. I don't know how well you guys can see on this side. I think on the driver's, yep, there you go. You guys can see it right there. It's really stretching. I need to add about a degree or two more of camber. I should be playing it safe after that. So today we're gonna to be adding more camber as well as testing out the Harbor Freight powder coating gun and powder coating my lug nuts. I got some paint stripper from Home Depot. I'm just letting the lug nuts uh, soak in it. I got the spray bottle with the paint stripper, so that came in handy. I just sprayed it all over. It says you're supposed to let it sit for about 15 minutes, so we're gonna let it sit. I probably have to do it one more time to get all the paint off. We wanna strip it to bare metal. We have to make sure that it's completely bare metal because even if there's a little bit of paint left on it, the powder from the powder coat and everything won't stick properly, so it has to be completely metal, completely clean to get the best coverage. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to wear a face mask, bro. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does kind of smell, so if you guys use this, don't be like us. Another thing that I had to do today was shave off the wheel studs. Right now, Jay took the Dremel. Reason being was because right now I'm running 12 millimeter spacers in the front. And since the spacers are too short, oops, let me just lay this down nicely. Since the spacers are too short, the wheel studs hit the wheel right here. You can kind of see it right over here. Basically, the wheel never really sat flat. So whenever I was driving, it was like super sketchy. The wheel would like just shake. It wasn't good, so we're just cutting off the wheel studs a little bit. Believe it or not, this is my first time ever seeing a powder coating gun. I've never seen a powder coating gun in person. It looks so weird. Like, I don't even understand how this works. Like, where does, where does the powder come from? Does it just come out of that big hole on the side? Like, I, I, I literally don't get it, dude. It came with an air filter and it came with uh, two containers where I'm guessing you put the powder into and it kind of just feeds into the gun. That's so many wires. You got a little clip clicker thingy. I'm pretty sure that's to like electrical charge stuff. Then you got the little alligator clip that you're supposed to attach to whatever you're powder coating. And then here's the whole system. I, I mean, I, I really don't know what I'm looking at because I'm, like I said, I've never powder coated before. Don't really know what I'm doing, but there's a first time for everything. So the paint stripper did work. It doesn't work that great, I'll be honest, but the paint stripper is taking most of the paint off and then I'm using the Dremel with a little 
wire brush. It's not too thick. It's a really, really soft wire brush. I'm using that to basically brush off the rest of the paint. I got this one down to pretty much just bare metal before it looked like, whoops. <laughs> Oopsies, whoops, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> well, before it looked like this, and now it looks like this. So the paint stripper is working a little bit. You can see that's taking like some of the paint off, but I'm using this to kind of really bring her home. A few moments later. Definitely took a little while, but we finally got all of them cleaned up. They're like this ugly, <laughs> this like ugly, not even chrome, but it's like this ugly yellowish chrome color, but all of them are pretty much stripped down to the bare metal. But Jay is starting to open up the whole powder coating system and everything. It seems pretty easy. Jay's reading the instructions just in case. So, uh, Jay, what's up? What do we, uh, what does it say we have to do? It says we have to like plug it into the wall. Yeah. And then like, we gotta get the fucking powder Dude. inside. <laughs> Are you reading it upside down? Yeah. It says that upside down? Yeah. <laughs> so what do we have to do exactly? So plug it into the wall, put the powder in here. Once we do that, we use this, or is it? This is what it allows us. That's uh, what it- To shoot, it? for the gun to shoot. Oh, so that's uh, okay. Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, there's only one voltage. Good after that. All right, so it's pretty easy. Yeah. You see, do you think you uh, think you know what you're doing? Yeah. All right. I've, I think I've seen enough videos. <laughs> what? You know, this powder shit gets everywhere though, right? Yeah, I would assume. You can put more in there, dude. No, I don't plan to put more. But... Yeah, I was like, that's definitely not enough. Let me get gloves. It's just like <laughs> the texture is so weird, dude. You're upside <laughs> right. You're definitely cross threading it, dude. Oh that shit! Is yeah, for you're right. Sure, <laughs> cross threading it. There you go. Jay's idea was to only try with two rather than try. Wait, why don't you tell them? Well, no, just oh. tell, tell the bros like why you think it's a better idea to just do two oh, rather just, than do all of them. Just in case we mess up. Just in case we, you don't have confidence, bro. No confidence, yo. We've never powder coated before. I know, I know. Shitty I know. <laughs> Did you start it on, dude? No. <laughs> That's probably why it's not doing anything. <laughs> all right, well we're trying with two. Got the air compressor hooked up with about 10 psi. Jay's gonna go ahead and shoot the uh, the first two. And, is, is that it? Like all you have to do is just flip Turn the switch on? on? All right, this is kind of anticipating. Like, is it going to make any noise? No, I don't think so. You think this is going to be quiet? Nah, it might be some I guess. noise. Uh, no, send not it. right now. It's not going send it. I just flip the switch. Look at the lights. Once I press this. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK, yeah. So whenever you press that, it turns green. Yeah, press it again. You hear a noise, too. Yeah. All right, send it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> do you think? Wait, do you think it needs more air? <laughs> I think we figured it out. We added more pressure. We're at like, what, 20 PSI now, about-ish? So, yeah. All right, go give it a shot, dude. Didn't give it a shot. Ooh, there we go. There we go, dude. That's the stance of a proper powder coatsman. All right, so now we're gonna have to pick this up and put it into <laughs> the little oven. Blow on it, everything's gonna come off. Yeah, don't, don't blow on it. Don't breathe, dude. You cannot <laughs> breathe. Whatever you do, just hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. So you're picking that up. I am doing that shit. All right, here, I'll pick it up. Here. Ooh, Ooh, a ring. Ooh. A ring. <laughs> I can't say savings. Don't breathe wrong. <laughs> all right, all right. Gotta make sure this doesn't. <laughs> oh fuck! What I did. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta aim for the right one. Oh, this is so, oh. Also, I missed, <laughs> I missed again. Wait, you get it in the hole? I got it in the hole. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh no, stop. Yeah. All right, we're good, baby, we're good. We're gonna leave it in there for about 20 minutes. We might have to actually keep it in there for longer because I just turned it on right now and we were supposed to preheat it for 450. And uh, I blame that on Jay for reading the instructions upside down.
Picking up from where we left off last night, I just finished powder coating the rest of the lug nuts. I got them back in the oven. They're just baking right now. We got to wait about a half hour till they're fully dry. The lug nuts that Jay did last night came out pretty good. Honestly, I think that he may have went a little heavy with the powder coat. If he did less thick of a layer, it might have came out a little bit better, but it's okay. It was our first time powder coating. We've never dealt with powder coat before. So for a first time try, it's not too bad. And they really do look brand new to be honest. Like these straight up look like brand new lug nuts. I can't lie, I'm really liking how these turned out. When you get up close to it, you can see that the texture isn't too great. You can see that it's like a really bubbly texture. And I don't know if that's just because I don't know how to powder coat or because it's a Harbor Freight powder coating system. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with powder coating. I don't really know how to do it. So if any of you guys know why it turned out kind of wrinkly, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if it's like because the Harbor Freight system that I used was just cheap quality or if it was just because I'm inexperienced, I'm just a noob at powder coating. So my thoughts about the Harbor Freight powder coating system. Honestly speaking, I can say that it's not too bad. Would I recommend it? Definitely, because it is, it's pretty cheap. It's $70. The cheapest one that I know that's still good is the Eastwood one, and that one starts at like $150, I think, which is like two of these, so it's kind of ridiculous how cheap this really is. So this is the final results of the Harbor Freight powder coating system. This thing isn't too shabby. I'm definitely going to be using it in the near future.